Bradley Moore's having a bad day. Brad. Mm. I'm seeing someone else. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> there, I never thought I could do it. Anyway, Jean-Claude's coming by at lunch to help move my things out. Try not to be here, OK? <clears throat> hey, wait! Wait! I'm sorry, Raj. It's over. Raj, be happy for me. I found love. He's a hockey player. Bradley Moore's having a bad day. You very bad people. You wicked it. You, you can't just evict me. You no pay rent for six months. Wait, wait, wait. What? I give her money every month, and she drops off a check. No, man. She fooled me with her curvy lady parts. You wicked it. In one week. Out. Out, out, out. I'm a bit of a cleanse, oh, but I can probably just Good have morning, one. Good morning, Brad. I made these cookies this morning. Thanks, Melody. Bradley Moore. Yeah. Can, can I help you? Well, there's no easy way to say it. Your services are no longer required. What? Do you even work here? I, I work for Alan Caulfield. Where, where is he? I assure you, I have every authority. Alan? Alan, really? Basic severance package is on your desk. Ciao. Bradley Moore's having a very bad day, but things are about to take a turn. Is this nasty life getting you down, my friend? It doesn't have to be this way. What would you say? If I was to tell you that this piece of paper here, this golden ticket, would allow you to do whatever you want, anything, with no consequence, for 24 hours. Go to sleep, wake up the next morning, everything's back to the way it was. What would you do? It's a $45 shirt, man. Alan! I've got the golden ticket. I got the golden ticket. person. Do you have any idea how awful and shallow you are? Why did I stay with you all these years? Oh, I know why. Because you're too hot for me and I didn't think I could do any better? I guess that's my fault. Have a great life. Hey, you used to play for the Leafs, right? That's awesome. And this is mine! Raj. I'm pretty sure you can't evict me because of the Tenant Landlord Act law. Then besides, you were doing my girlfriend, man. I'm pretty sure that's a conflict of interest. So I'm staying. And that cologne you wear is a hate crime against people with noses. Sounds all right to me, man. Where's Alan? Conference room. 
sorry, Melody. You're just lovely and always sweet to me, and I wish I could have been with someone like you instead of that harpy I live with. Used to live with. Ellen! And everyone will get a peek out. Ellen! <laughs> you, sir, are a coward. When did we stop being men? This is now you run a business. Five years, Alan! Say it to my face, man! You're all idiots. You're terrible at your jobs, but you are the king of the idiots. <laughs> Bite me! So, uh, so how does this thing work? Do I just go to sleep? What or... did you do? Oh, I did a lot. Uh, yelling, mostly. What, are you barking mad? What's wrong with you? Have you seen this thing? It's a voucher for Golden Turtle Fall. Why would you Because you didn't let me finish. It's a theoretical device I use with my philosophy students. You know, golden ticket. What would you do? No consequence. Blah, blah, blah. Did you think I was some kind of a genie? A deity? I've got some magic beans to sell you if you're interested. Moron. As long as that sexy vampire hooker is gone tomorrow, and I get a check tonight, okay? Peace out. Boar, Guy Faulkner here from corporate. We kind of met in the conference room today. Look, we could use a guy with your grit for this new overseas venture we're starting up. Call me, Monday morning. King of the idiots. That was priceless. Brad, it's Andrea. I'm sorry, baby, I was just... Hi, Brad, it's Melody. I heard about your promotion. Um, I'm heading out to lunch. Do you want to meet me at the Golden Turtle? You know where it is, right? Hello, Bradley. Say Jean-Claude. Andrea, give me your number. We're a man short for Shinny tonight if you want to come. Bradley, it's your mother. Why is Andrea calling me in tears asking if she can have the juicer I gave you? Please, don't marry that girl. Mr. Moore, Constable Leary, 52 Division. Your car's been towed to the lot at Lakeshore and Bay. Witnesses say you abandoned in the street. Dumbass. Hey, Brad. Melody again. Can you find the place? Oh, there you are. Never mind. <laughs> 